Hey, okay, so, um, excellent news. Uh, the folks at uh, Unexpected Maker uh, was able to help me, and I now have all three of these boards working. Uh, plus, I have some really great um, ways of uh, understanding how to troubleshoot these boards now, which is fantastic. So, um, what I can do is we can take a look at a brand new board and go through some of the troubleshooting uh, that I've learned and just say thank you big time because this is incredible. Uh, the new ESP32 Tiny Pico S3 board is quite spectacular. Um, it's going to come in handy a lot. So, this is the board untouched. Um, so when we plug it in, the thing is these boards come with Circuit Python, um, which I haven't uh, had a chance to learn yet, but we'll probably spend some time learning it on this one. Uh, nevertheless, so this board now is loaded, and it's actually a USB like drive, so you would just drag and drop code onto here. Um, but if you're like me and you've been using um, Circ uh, Arduino with um, Platform IO then let's go through flashing this uh, board. So over here on my monitor, we, um, if, if we just run this make command to upload our uh, project, um, it probably will fail. And it takes some troubleshooting to figure out why. Yeah, so waiting for upload port and then it fails like this. So if this happens, um, we have to press the reset button a couple times, I think. Yeah, I think that's correct. And then we try again. And if this fails, then what we can do is reset. Let's see if it no, see, this is going to fail because see, it's trying to talk to the wrong device, the Bluetooth device. That is not going to work. Um, yeah, that's not going to work. So instead, let's make sure we get a list of devices and we can see we only have our Bluetooth device. So let's press the, the boot button this time. And the reset button. Okay, now we see a USB modem. Let's try this one more time. I think this is going to fail too, yep. Um, now let's just check and make sure we still have the device list. No, see we've lost it. So let's go ahead and hit the reset again. Now we have it. And now let's do um, ESP tool and let's erase the flash. So if this connects, which it might fail, uh, if it fails, then yeah, so it failed. Um, we're going to just go ahead and un disconnect uh, the USB C connector from the board, connect it again. Let's do our device list, and let's see if we can erase again. I think probably not. Looks like it's going to fail again. Yep. Um, let's do some combination of double-clicking the reset, hitting the boot a couple of times, reset a couple of times, boot a couple of times, and let's just... Nope. Uh, and now the thing we do is we keep it plugged in and we wait. Do, 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 do. This is what I did on the third board last time that was having this problem, was while I was trying to troubleshoot it, uh, I got into a separate conversation and then I tried erase and it worked. So let's try erase again. Who knows how long we have to wait. That's not gonna work. One more reset. Okay, there you go. So, I mean, just hitting the reset button, hitting the boot button, 
um, hitting the reset button. And now you notice we've erased the flash. So now, when we run our upload, we get looking for upload port. And look at that, it's uploading. Now on one of the other boards, we got to 96% and then it was consistently crashing. Yeah, ESP erase tool uh, solved it for us. Um, there you go, amazing. Now it works and it works just like any other uh, Tiny Pico board now. Super amazing. Thanks, bye.